What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. We have a brand new update available. This actually came out two days ago from when I'm recording it, which is on the 29th. came out on the 27th. It is 35 experimental build, and you are not going to believe what it is. The cool thing is, um, it's actually a new mission. So every time we have a new mission, it's like, sorry guys, there's a new mission. If you want it, you have to restart your entire freaking world. And I thought, great, you've added a new one, and I've just done all this stuff to catch myself up to where we used to be, and we got all the stuff and things, and everything's going honky-dory, and you release a damn update, and I gotta restart. Well, not the case anymore. They were smart about this one, and if you go into the cartographer... So you'll have continue new game cartographer. If you've got the continue, that means you've got your world. This is the world that I'm in right now. So I believe where the red is is where you is. And what you can do, there's the brand new mission. A giant freaking squid. Remember me asking for that like two episodes ago? Thank you, Beam Team, for listening. Uh, so they've actually added that into the game, and I'm going to go into their um, Steam page and just kind of read what they've um, put down. Uh, it says, this build has a new giant squid mission. We realized that it has been a bit of a pain in the butt to have to restart every time we release a new mission. So in this update, we've added the ability to drag and drop the mission maps into the world through the cartographer. Please note, if you have existing mission tiles in your world that you haven't visited, uh, you will need to drag and drop the mission tile onto that tile. If you don't do this, the mission tile will be empty. So, um, that's the tricky thing. I can't remember if I went and saw both of mine or just the one. I think I saw both. Or no, we haven't seen the eel. Uh, we did the one that was to the south east or southwest of us anyways we're, we'll figure that out afterwards uh fixed farming plots not reinitializing plant progression immediately after loading the game they fixed the farming plot dirt decal positions not initializing properly a uh, few changes they've added the abil ability to drop items directly into the inventory menu added dedicated inventory select and drop key bindings uh, added new radio UI to display water and fuel amounts. Updated the uh, HUD UI. Changed translucency rendering method, reducing performance overhead. Implemented the new post FX stack. Added proper ambient occlusion, occlusion quality settings. And added new temporal anti-aliasing effect. And a new feature is they've added a new giant squid mission. So... With that being said, we're going back here into the game. So we are right here. I think the one that we hit, because you can see north is right here, right? It's on an angle. So if we were to go north, that's north. That's east. And that is not south. That's south. So, or sorry, west. <laughs> that would be southwest. So I think we went there. I don't think we've gone, uh, what is that? Northwest? Yeah northwest so what we could do if we were to drag and drop that there apply go back go into our world and then head off to the northwest we should be able to hit the giant squid and that is my plan for this episode so if i've got to try this a couple times uh so be it but what i'm hoping actually happens is that in the the little generated uh sea fort that comes up that it's not just one, that you'll have the eel as well as the giant squid, because the eel is the one that I didn't go see. Uh, so let's go, nope, not in there. Make sure I don't have it on me. Uh, nope. nope. I know there's one in here that has a compass. I'm sure one of them does. Oh my goodness. Of course, the very last one. Okay, Northwest, that's the one we gotta hit. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's hop in this big ass boat of mine and we're gonna fly over there uh, at snail pace. And um, just to save time on this, I'm gonna cut until we get over there and I'll bring you guys back once we're there. I'll see you in a sec. 
All right, everybody, we're back here in the uh, sea fort, right at the mission board. Lucia the Great. There are rumors of a giant creature protecting the surrounding waters. Kill the creature to complete the reward, or com to complete this objective reward. One times eyeball. <laughs> That's creepy as hell. Did they fix the marker, or is it still up in the, uh, oh, Lucia the Great. Ba, 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 ba. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty badass. Uh, where the hell is the stairs down? Oh, I just I ran by them. Didn't I? Yeah, right here. And we go here and here. Go down. Okay, you can see the marker is not fixed. So that's good to know. Oh, that's awesome. My boat's far away. Uh, wait a minute, before we go anywhere, <laughs> just want to see what is out here. I see something over here. Yes, it's like uh, one of those uh, buoys that you see out there. So the other thing, oh, it's a bird. The other thing that would normally show up with a great white isn't there. The only thing I didn't like though is there was no option to uh, see the eel. So we have a giant squid now versus the eel, which hey, I'm all right with. The eel was pretty cool, but I'm uh, I'm much happier to see a giant squid. That's badass. I'm not gonna lie, man. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? Okay, turn around. Yeah, see the markers up in the sky. So we're gonna go over here. I'm hopefully gonna be able to get this thing on camera. Uh, that is the goal. Why are you flying in the water, man? Uh, I'm really hoping that I'm gonna be able to get this thing on camera because uh, that is the point of doing this. Uh, ooh, wait a minute. Uh, shoot, oh well, it's too late now. I was gonna say we should actually save, but. This little tiny boat is going to be the death of me. I keep swinging around. Okay. Can we line it up with this? Okay, what the hell? Okay, go here. Come on, get off. Whoa. Okay, where the hell is this big giant squid? Lucia the Great. Oh, great. I don't see a damn thing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can flip my boat over. Nope, that did not work. All right, I'll bring you back, and if I do get something on camera, I'll also bring you back for that too. Okay, well you can see I'm being dragged around by the thing. We got to see the mouth of it. I want to see if I can get up on top of my boat and maybe get a better view of it. Oh, it's got me good. So you can see some of it. Again, it's not doing a whole lot of damage, but definitely doing enough to uh, annoy you. Let's see. Where the squid? 
There it is. Ugh, the size of that thing. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh, there's the inside of it. Oh, you having a good time. That was sick! Uh, wow, it took me for a ride, man. Look at it. There it is. Big old giant squid. Right there. Oh yeah, he's got me. And I'm dead. <laughs> that is so cool. Died from illness, bleeding, and a giant squid. Survived 11 days. I'm glad I saved the game. I actually went back to the, um, uh, what do you call it, the sea fort, and saved the game so that I could try that out. That is absolutely amazing. I love how it grabs you. So you can't just sit on something and camp out. It's going to pull you off of it. Even if you had got it like a big 5x5 five five boat. Uh, I, you might be able to dodge it maybe if you had a big enough boat. But um, that's going to be a challenge for sure. Uh, they might have to start putting armor in the game so that you can defend yourself against this. That is completely amazing. Um, that's uh, one of the first things that I've asked for in the game that was actually put in. I'm super happy about that. Uh, thank you, Beam Team, for doing that. I, I know it wasn't just me, most likely, but if you were listening, thank you. And everybody else watching, thank you to you as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's going to be it for this week. Next week, we're going to jump back into the game. We're going to do a little bit more of the building. Now we're on 35 Experimental. Uh, I do have a tutorial video, I believe, uh, a little while ago that it teaches you how to get into the experimental branch if you do want to do that. Uh, it is different than the stable, though. If you are going to switch from stable to experimental, you will lose your world. Um, not permanently, just it'll create a new world. You won't be able to go into the existing one. You have two worlds in that case, one for stable, one for experimental. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Very simple.